High five, understanding the bones that make up our hand. Our arms and legs are limbs or appendages. Append means to attach something to a larger body. Our appendages are attached to the axial or appendicular skeleton by the girdles. Upper limb or arm is connected to the pectoral girdle or shoulder. The bones of our upper limb include the humerus, arm, the radius and ulna, forearm, the carpals of the wrist and the hand, which is made up of the metacarpal bones and the phalanges. The humerus is the single bone that runs from the shoulder to the elbow to form the arm. The humerus connects to our scapula at the glenoid cavity. The forearm consists of radius and ulna. Radius is located on the radial side or thumb side of the forearm. The head of the radius looks like the head of a nail. Ulna is located on the pinky side or ulnar side of the forearm. The radius is shorter but thicker than the ulna. While the ulna is long and thin, and its head is at the opposite end of the bone compared to the head of the radius. The bones of the forearm attach at the elbow end of our humerus in four different spots. Capitulum, a knob-like structure that allows the radius to interact with the humerus. Trochlea, knob on the humerus that lies next to the capitulum and allows the trochlear notch of the ulna to join the humerus. Coronoid fossa, depression in the humerus that accepts the projection of the ulna bone when the elbow is bent. Olecranon fossa, depression in the posterior humus that accepts the projection of the ulna, called the olecranon process, when the arm is extended. When you move your palm up and down, radius spins around the ulna, while ulna stays still. Both the radius and ulna connect with the bones of the wrist. The wrist contains eight small irregularly shaped bones, called the carpal bones. The ligaments binding the carpal bones are very tight, but the numerous bones allow the wrist to flex easily. The eight carpal bones are the pisiform, triquatrum, lunate, scaphoid, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. We've made an interesting mnemonic video about the carpal bones somewhere in our channel. Spare half a minute to watch it. The palm of our hand contains five bones called the metacarpals. When you make a fist, you can see the ends of the metacarpals as your knuckles bulge. Our fingers are made up of bones called the phalanges. Each finger has three phalanges, the proximal phalanx, which joins our knuckle, the middle phalanx, and the distal phalanx, which is the bone in our fingertip. The thumb has two phalanges, so sometimes it is not considered a true finger. Therefore, you may have eight fingers and two thumbs, or ten fingers, depending on how you look at it.